Hello everyone, my name is Jason and I'd like to welcome you to the Abyss Garage. In today's video, I'm going to show you the quick and easy way of replacing foot pegs on a dirt bike. Okay, so here we are with my 2013 KTM and I need to replace the foot peg. And this isn't a big task at all, but sometimes it can get a little tricky. Now you may be asking yourself, why am I replacing the peg? Well, there's a couple of reasons why, or taking it off rather. One might be, might be taking this down to have it painted or powder coated. Another thing is you might be just uh, replacing a stock peg with another one, which I'm doing. Or you may want to upgrade and you say that this foot peg or your foot peg itself isn't sharp enough or wide enough for your liking. So you're buying an aftermarket one and you need to replace it. So for this, all you need to get is a hammer, a punch, a pair of cutting pliers, and also a screwdriver that you really don't care about and that's pretty much it so like i said for me the reason why i'm replacing this is that the previous owner had damaged it in a crash at some point and for me while it works just fine and springs back it's just cosmetically not appealing okay so here is a close-up of the foot peg and as you can see here it is bent backwards and this piece has bent in as well just from the crash itself now, this is held in by this pin that goes into the frame. You have this spring here that's gonna allow this foot peg to spring back, which is the tricky part. Comes through on the side with a washer and a cotter pin. So all we're gonna do is remove this cotter pin, pop this pin out, and then swap it out. And I'm gonna show you the trick to make, it, make your life easier. All right, so that one actually fought me a little bit more with that cotter pin. In a case like that where it doesn't want to pull out, all you simply do is just cut it top and bottom and then the pin will fall out. Now the foot peg itself is off, and like I said, that's really easy, but the spring sometimes will give difficulty in when trying to put this back on. Here's the purpose of using either a screwdriver, which I've used in the past, just a old Phillips, or using a, say, a drift pin and what we're going to do here is we're simply going to put the drift pin in uh, obviously i'm going to put the peg on but just for show you guys <clears throat> put the pin in into the spring and then this is going to allow us to then drive the pin down and keep going through the spring because if you're just trying to hold this like i said if you're just trying to hold the spring in place we have so much room back and forth to try and get this to align up properly is very, very difficult. Not impossible, but very difficult. So with this, it's just going to allow us to drive it through. Simple, quick, and effective. And like that, if you're not careful, it'll pop out.
washer on, and our new cotter pin. Simply bend over, and for this one I like to bring it over the center of the pin. Trim the fit. Well that's what I call a quick and easy way of replacing your foot peg on your dirt bike. Now some dirt bikes can vary in how they do it. Uh, other bikes I've seen where the spring actually sits below the peg, which is actually even easier to install. But on this bike where the peg, where the spring actually sits inside the peg, this is how you're going to want to do it. A drift, a hammer, it can't get any easier. It saves you time, saves you frustration. That's all I have for today's video. If you like this content, let me know down in the comments below. Or if you've done uh, foot peg installs a different way, an even easier way, I'd love to hear about it. Until next time, guys, take care.